everyone. Let me just check the sound. Oh, the sound is good and loud. Um, I have a. I have actually just released an episode, um, but I had. I was clearing out last week, and I forgot. Or I wanted to talk about something else, because in this whole um, capsule wardrobe uh, minimalist idea of not collecting too many things that you wear but sort of have like this yeah uh, minimized um, spacious you cupboard which where you release the skeletons from the past the things that you absolutely adore but you don't wear anymore and you just let them go and you keep adding handmade things or things that you um, know that you want to wear as I was doing this, I came across some things that I, I am really wondering, and this is a question for you, what do you do with these things? Look at this. This is a little crochet baby vest I made for my youngest. And I um, dip dyed it. Let me have a look. Is that better on the other side? Yeah, I dip dyed it. Uh, and it's this beaut and it's got this beautiful porcelain uh, button on it. And I actually want to um, hang up some of these, like put them on the branch and just hang them on the walls, <laughs> because this is so precious. It's organic merino wool. It's super soft, and I have actually um, given a lot of my like. I can always say donated because you know they're so <laughs> close to your heart. I have donated some of my things to a friend who lives in Amsterdam, and I don't see her a lot, but I know she really, really appreciates it. And I keep she keeps sending me pictures of her son uh, wearing um, the things that I made, and that makes me really happy. So, but what do I do with these? What do you do with these? Because next to my pile of knitted items, I have another pile, which is baby stuff. Here's a really wild one, um, but I love it. Look at that. I was really sort of, uh, either it's been worn and played in, or I don't know what happened to this edge. It's really raw, but the wool is really lovely, and the yoke is very cute. And this is like um, handspun fleece, handspun yarn. It's so gorgeous. It's like, and they, they actually wear them so long. So it's been quite warm. It's in those times that you can just put your baby to what you want or your child and they will wear it because, you know, they don't have <laughs> anything to say. Look at this one. This is actually from wool, Norwegian wool that my mum kept for years in like a chest somewhere and I found it and I said can I use it she said oh yes it's a crochet pattern it's so sweet it's a real treasure and this one um, this is a suit from pickles in Norway they have it's an online shop and a pattern made it's a jumpsuit and it's all in uh, organic merino wool and these are some different types of wool I think there's a tweedy oh look it's still dirty <laughs> some it's got some pumpkin soup on it I'll show the other side <laughs> um, and, I, and I know my little one it's it's quite light really sweet and I haven't given this away yet because I don't know I, I worked on it so long I mean the jumpsuit's quite thin to make for a little child and then a sewing project you might have this is like a little um, boiled wool woolen jacket with merino wool cuffs and a little hood I made on it and wooden buttons and this was really my I don't know if you've seen in some photos on Instagram but my youngest boy is a little redhead boy and this is such a 
is exactly the colour of his hair and they just look so beautiful. So I think I might I, I might make a box or like buy like a chest and put them put these hand knitted items in and just treasure them because um, actually for myself if I don't uh, wear the stuff that I make I can quite easily give it to someone else I don't I used to feel when I started making I felt more attached to the things I made because yeah you start off and they're so precious and you're really sort of um, conscious about the time that you've put into it but um, I can give them away and I've become more capable to do so as well as time has gone by by so what do you think should I keep them should I give them another life what I do not want is that in an x amount of years if or when I will become a grandmother or my children will have children that I take it out of a box and it's all sort of old and felted and they're like oh mum I don't think um yeah sorry or thanks mum and they'll just sort of throw it out so maybe this is the time to wear these things I'm not sure I haven't found the child yet who I'll give it to um this is a little jumper um I bought in New Zealand. I travelled through New Zealand to visit one of my best friends who lives there and we travelled from the North Island to the South, that's about 10 years ago now, and in a little shop in Nelson, it's a knitting shop, um, which sells knitted items and wool, I found this one, isn't it gorgeous? And Filava actually has this, sells this pattern and it's called Lauk, because you can open this up and then um, it's really easy to put on your child. So I knitted one of these. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I have. I will, I will get them. I think they're in here. I knitted this one for my son and then he wasn't wearing it. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to sell it because it's new. It was beautiful wool. And he was like, no way. You knitted that for me. You can't sell that. So I didn't. But um, I think here it is. And he still hasn't worn it. And nope. let me just have a quick look if I can find it. Be back. Yeah, I found it. Um, this is the other lag sweater I knit, and he would actually still be able to wear it, but no way. Name's Joshua. Joshua's so he has a mind of his own about what he wants to wear, and I like that. So you know, I won't make him wear it, but I would actually sell this. So if anybody sees my podcast and they think like this is for my this child that I know, my son, my grandson, and you would like to buy it from me, then yes, that would be great. I also bought this one in New Zealand. It's a really um, roughly hand spun little vest it was really warm and it's got this beautiful sun it's a pretty hardcore woolen sweater this one but i mean i'm gonna put that on the wall even just the the little rainbow sun it's just amazing she made them herself and she was telling me she had big sweaters for grown-ups as well which I loved but she sells them on the market in Nelson in New Zealand South Island um, if I'd have been able to pack it I would have wanted one of those but now I can knit one for myself this is another cotton little sweater that I knit for my son but he won't wear um, and I remember sitting in a train and this one woman came up to me and she said, did you hand knit this? And I said, oh yes, it's for my son. She said, you knit like a machine. I think she was, she wasn't Dutch, she had a slight beautiful accent and she said, you knit like a machine, it's beautiful. I was like, oh, thank you. So, knit like a machine, but not worn by a child. So, um, yeah, that one also. Here another one, hand spun yarn, really beautiful. This is a flax sweater. 
Um, he won't wear one. He won't wear it. Look at this beautiful detail. It's got this raglan. I think you all know the the Black Shepherd by Tin Can Knits with the raglan detail on the arms. I would be able to give this to someone or sell it because it's a beautiful, um, yeah, beautiful little sweater. Lovely. It's rustic wool, but it's soft. It's easy to wear, and I, I put this merino border on it so it wouldn't itch him in the in the neck but no he doesn't want it so I have this whole pile of wear children's wear which is not worn and yeah I was wondering what do you do with it so let me know um, next up I will be uh, showing you uh, another short video of some um, swaps that I've been doing I've recently have been doing two international swaps so that means we swap yarn with the yarn dyers and um, I haven't even really spoken about it but I've been so enthusiastic because they have sent me beautiful stuff and they've been really happy with what I've sent them and I think that just makes garments even more special and I'm saving up all the skeins that I um, get and all the colors and I'm putting them together to make the vertices is it Furtis's Textures Unite by Stephen West? I have loved that shawl and I would think I really would wear that a lot. So you have a Furtis's Unite, which is sort of uh, just stockinette and garter stitch, I think. And you have a th Furtis's Textured one, which is loads of stitch and brioche and cables. And, and that would be really lovely, like a big winter project or to get into. I need to finish everything that I'm doing now first and then I'll start on that. So I would love to hear your ideas about um, what to do with little woolens that you don't want or it's not that I don't want but you don't use. Um, just a short episode this time. I hope you're all well. I'm going to try and film a little more and share a little more and um, trying to keep the news updated and trying to get into my work a little more um, even though it's almost summer holiday and I will have all the children home again that doesn't matter uh, I'm just going to try and film some snippets so see you soon bye